Tesla, people were like, oh, it did okay. Well, that, let's just take a look at a couple things here. Let's get rid of this eight and let's put the 200 day in for a minute, okay? Did it? Okay, well, we closed over the 200 day, but look how much we had to get over in order for that to happen. So now we're getting overbought. Are we overbought to the point where you need to be concerned? No, not on the daily, right? You can see how it got toppy here, but from there, from when that started, it just kept going back in March. And if you look at when it got toppy last time and started going, you, know, you had a 71 reading that went all the way to a 95, right? So you don't really wanna miss this kind of stuff just because you're over, right? Watch that RSI video if you haven't already. But what you do wanna do is you wanna look for pullback. So sometimes maybe drop to like a four hour chart, get rid of the pre and the post, and just see where you are in the grand scheme of things. Well, here we are, and then here we are again over on the four hour, right? So now we actually have like an 80 on the four hour 77, and we kind of look at what happened last time in March. See, and you want to catch the move before this happens, right? So you start looking at this and going, well, this got to 85. So this can go a little bit higher and then peak, and you kind of go through it again, and you can see the peaks here. And that's what I'm saying. You don't want to just move because this is happening, but you want to be aware of it. You want to be cognizant of it. And what you really are looking for is you want to see if it dips below that 70 line. Watch that video. I'll link at the end. But that's really what you want to focus on here. So if you like this clip, click on the left to watch another one. Or if you want to see the entire video, click on the right.